obviously the early turnovers played a role, but, but what did you kind of see as some of the issues tonight? That was the biggest key for, for, for me. I mean, the, the momentum swings that happen when you turn the basketball over and then, you, you know, you're not knocking shots down, you know, it compounds. Uh, so our ability to, one, take care of the basketball is, is key. You have 16 turnovers for 27 points. Uh, it's, it's hard to give yourself a chance there. Our energy was there. Our effort was there. Our intentionality was there. We just got to be a, do a better job of taking care of the basketball. Uh, and, I, and I think just, again, a lot of it came down to having some great looks that did not drop. <laughs> These games are important. What, are, what is your message to the group after, after tonight? Stay the course. Stay the course. We, we, we control what we can control. And in these next two games, we've got to be very focused and intentional about the way we go about our business uh, defensively. You know, that's two games where we've given up 100 plus. Um, and I think we've got to do a better job of sitting down and locking in there. And again, they have two big time players and Dame hit some big time shots and Bobby Portis got going. But again, it's got to be the, the, the identity of us that we continue to impact shots, make it tough for them. And, and again, keep, keep sharing the ball, moving the ball and making the right play. It's obviously a very young group. You know, how much of a challenge is it for them mentally to kind of go through this process the first time? It's experience. I mean, it's what it's the things you have to go through, even the midst of losing. You have to learn the lessons in those moments. And and I think for a young group that is continuing to learn, continuing to grow, continuing to get better, continuing to go through these games, it is only going to benefit us down the, down the stretch, because uh, you understand the intensity in which you have to play, the focus you have to have. You know, you look at that team there in Milwaukee and Dame, who's been in multiple playoff series. Bobby Portis, multiple. They, they have guys that have won championships. So, knowing that, you reflect and look at the game and say, what can you take from those things, but also add it to what we do. How, how is Bronze coming along, and what's the possibility of maybe his bail building for these last couple? Uh, he's progressing slowly. He'll go through some work tomorrow as well, and, and we'll, we'll continue to see how he responds to those treatments. I think it's great. I think it's a great opportunity. I think it's a great chance for these young men to experience what this atmosphere is going to continue to be like for years to come. Uh, and in this moment right now, again, this is not where we want to be from the, the, on the other side of the, the win-loss column in this game. But again, regroup tomorrow, come back, be ready for Philly. And we understand how big of a game it is, but this is something that is going to be great for these young men to continue to grow, get better, and know how big these moments are and to embrace them. How much did the early turnovers play a role and put you guys in a, a tough position to climb out of? Um, definitely hurt us. I mean, I think just turnovers throughout the whole game hurt us. And, you know, they did a great job capitalizing off every single mistake we made. They was making us pay every time we uh, made a mistake. It was kind of the message to the, to the group after this one, obviously, you know, important game that you guys were geared up for, you know, what was the message to the group after? Um, I mean, most, I mean, I think most recognize. I mean, I think as a unit, I think we played hard. I mean, definitely the effort, it wasn't a lacking of effort. Um, we just, you know, we just, we got to take care of that rock. I think that's, that was the main thing. We do that, you know, I think we gave them what, what was it, 16 turnovers, 27 points? That's the ball game right there. We lose by 20, 17, however, however, many, however many it is, that's, that's the ball game. Just kind of think about where y'all stand, just kind of in the playoff picture now, two games left, have everything still in front of you in the way. I mean, it's going to be what it's going to be. I think for us, we just got to, you know, focus on these last two, you know, not, uh, not take them for granted and, Try to convert these last two games into wins and just move forward from there. As you look at going into this game against Philly, what are, what are some of the areas you want to see your group clean up and improvement into that? Turnovers. I think that's the biggest thing. We can do that. I mean, I think we're a really good team, <laughs> and if we clean up those turnovers, I think we'll, we 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 don't have a, uh, we would have had a chance to win this game tonight. And so if we can just do that for the next game, Philly's a good team. You know, we'll have a great chance of winning that game. Postseason importance for a lot of guys on this team. Is those two games will be the biggest games of you know their NBA careers, perhaps. You know, how, how mentally do you, do you prepare for that, and 
how excited are you for that opportunity to play in this type of game? Um, I, mean, I think those games will be very similar to the to the game we played tonight. You know, this was a playoff atmosphere. You know, the fans were loud. Uh, refs were, you know, they're kind of letting us play. Um, and, um, you know, we played against a really good team that, uh, you know, that's how it's going to be when we get to the playoffs. You know, whenever we make a mistake, they're going to capitalize on it and it's going to it's gonna hurt us in the long run. So I think, you know, um, we just um, learn from this and keep moving forward. Uh, how much did some of the early turnovers hurt tonight to, to put you guys in a, in a hole that was difficult to climb down? Uh, I think it hurt. Um, just because, you know, got them in rhythm as a team and they was, you know, making a lot of their shots. You know, what was, what was kind of the message to the group after this one is you guys, you know, face a difficult loss and an important game? Uh, I think coach just, you know, said we fought hard, you know, just turnovers is what killed us. I think we had like 16 for 27 points. How do you feel just about where y'all stand right now in terms of the playoff picture? Yeah, we got two left, you know, so we got one in Philly. They're going to be ready. Uh, that should be fun. Um, it's going to be a game we, we got to try and go out and get and then uh, see these guys again back home in front of the fans. So looking forward to the next two. You, you guys are obviously a young group. How, how much different is the, the game at this time of year? How, how challenging is it, is it mentally, you know, to, to prepare for these type of, type of contests? Uh, I think it's just, you know, the teams we're, we've been seeing for the most part are all gearing up to get ready for their playoff runs. And, you know, we're dealing with some injuries and stuff like that. So you got to try to, uh, you know, just bring the energy, bring the intensity. And uh, you can't let a couple losses, you know, sidetrack you from the bigger picture. You know, we're trying to uh, make a run in the playoffs. So. These, these next two games could perhaps be, for a lot of guys, yourself included, the, the biggest games of your NBA careers. You know, how, how do you prepare for that mentally? And how do you go about that approach? Uh, I think you just got to lock in. Uh, yeah, it's a important time of the year. So I'm excited.